What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Rising Sun Podcast. I'm Dean Howe, and this is the R Check. You clicked on the link, so you know what it is. So we're going to jump right into it. Before I get started, I do want to talk about one of my sponsors, and then also Lions Not Sheep, who I'm an ambassador for. They don't pay me technically. Well, yeah, I guess they do pay me, but not for the purposes of the podcast, just for how sexy I look in their clothes. So let's get started. Prize Crew Coffee. If you haven't heard of a man, Prize Crew Coffee is a Navy veteran owned and operated small business. They have the richest flavor profiles that Coffer has to offer. Listen, we fucking live on coffee in the Navy. We barely sleep underway. So I know good coffee from bullshit. Prize Crew selects premium green coffee from USDA organic and fair trade coffee farms. Only the best quality raw ingredients go to their small air roastery. If you don't know about air roasting, you're a coffee enthusiast. You should look that shit up because apparently it's the shit. Molly's Dark and Stormy Blend, White Coffee, Maple Bourbon Barrel, Aged Coffee, Brazil Eagle Espresso. Those are just a few of the things you can get at prizecrewcoffee.com. Use promo code SAIL, that's S-A-I-L. Get 10% at checkout and wake up on the high seas with Prize Crew Coffee. Also, Lines Not Sheep. Listen. I pretty much exclusively wear all of their gear. This is what I'm wearing right now. You see this shirt. You see the hat. Yeah, like I said, they they pay me. I get a percentage of the sales that I make. It's called being an ambassador. You might have heard of it. But if you go to linesnotsheep.com, get some swag. Use L-N-S-D-E-A-N. That's L-N-S-Dean. Use that at checkout. You're going to get 10% off. And yes, it kicks me back a little something, so I appreciate you. Thank you for your service. Okay, let's talk about what we're going to talk about. No notes. Here we go. So I know what I want to talk about, and we're going to get right into it. Number one, I am 53 days into 75 hard. I know y'all are probably sick of me talking about it, but I got to keep talking about it. So I have learned so much. One of the things that I truly had an epiphany on just the other day was that the things that I get excited for now are the hard things. Like I get enthusiastic about taking a cold shower. I don't have a cold plunge. I wish I did. They're expensive. Yeah. I know if you're listening to this, Dean, just put a big rubber bin in your back, you know, yard and fill it full of ice. Well, the good thing is that, you know, military family housing, they have some pretty damn cold showers and at the gym. So I hit a five minute cold shower. It's not a three minute cold plunge, but it's about the same, man. And I'll tell you, I look forward to those things. They're invigorating. It's hard. It's uncomfortable. It gets my adrenaline going, right? It's fun. I look forward to going and hitting the gym. I look forward to my Japanese lessons. I don't like my my teacher. She's kind of annoying, but it's a challenge. It's hard for me. It's something that I want to do. I know it's going to be good for me in the end, and I look forward to it because it's hard. I used to be like this. The long hikes, the marathon, the long runs, the super hard CrossFit workouts. This is who I was. This is who I was before I blew my Achilles and got lost down the path of opiates initially and eventually alcoholism let's just call it what it was like i drank a lot i haven't drank now in almost 60 days and i've never felt this good and it comes highly recommended five out of five would recommend so anyways i just want to share that part with you um speaking of doing hard things I was looking at it today. This is something that Joey and I, Joey Meininger, he was my first guest on the Rising Sun podcast. He and I had talked about walking, hiking from Misawa to Aomori City. It would have been an overnight trip. It would have been over the Hakoda Mountains. And we didn't get to do it. Um, Unfortunately, I think that was right around the time that my, my father passed. I can't remember the exact circumstances, but we weren't able to do it. And so I always felt like I kind of missed that opportunity to do something big, to do something hard and to document it. And so 
I was looking at it today and I've got two options. Either I'm going to go from Chiba, the east coast of Japan, across Japan to Niigata, about a four, maybe five day hike, three or four nights overnight. So backpacking basically from Chiba to Niigata, which would be from the east coast of Japan to the west coast of Japan, across the Kanto Plain, essentially, and up over the mountains into the Niigata. Or I'm going to go from Tokyo to Osaka. That one would probably be seven or eight days. So there's some planning that goes into it. I know I can do it. It's not a matter of whether I can do it or not. It's just a matter of preparation. It's a matter of making sure that I know where I'm going to stop so I don't look like a vagrant and get arrested by the Japanese authorities. But I'm announcing it here on the R check today, probably in April or May, I'm going to walk across Japan, East Coast to West Coast or Tokyo to Osaka. That one's a little bit longer, but one or the other. And they're about four to six day backpacks. So I'm actually, again, go back to how I started this thing. Dude, I am so excited to do that. It sounds hard. It sounds challenging. It sounds like something to invigorate me. It sounds like something that I really just want to do. And I think that, yeah, man, I mean, I'm taking notes. And so if you looked at the last podcast that I did with Matt Vincent, it's not just him, from Hannah, from Matt, who I had on Matt Frugge, from Bryce. I'm in this place in my life where I'm drawing inspiration from every possible source. Anywhere where I can get a little inspiration, anywhere where I can learn a lesson, I'm being humble enough to be a student. I know a lot of shit. I've had a pretty awesome life experience. I know how to do things. And yet, at this point in my life, to be able to humble myself enough to take notes from people that are doing things that I want to do, that's... um. I don't know, man. It's refreshing. It's refreshing that I've been able to find that happy place, to find that peaceful medium where I'm not too prideful to admit that I'm taking notes, that I'm being a student, that I'm observing. It doesn't mean that I'm not any good. It just means that I want to be better. And it means that I'm drawing on these experiences that people have to to bring those things into my life. So I'm excited about it, man. That's coming up. And got a couple other plans too. All of these things are things that I'll document, obviously. I'm not just going to go out there and do it. And I think that will be another part of the challenge is documenting it in such a way that people would actually want to watch it and learn something from it. There's certainly something to be learned about walking from Tokyo to Osaka because that's like flyover country, essentially. You're either driving it on the freeway or you're flying. Or you're taking the bullet train. But nobody is like taking this, you know, the back roads to go from Tokyo to Osaka. And so I'm excited about that. I'm excited about what I'll find. I'm excited about the culture I'll see. I'm excited about the conversations I'll have. I'm excited to see the look on the Japanese folks' face when they see this big white American walking through with a backpack on. And they ask me where I'm going. And I say Osaka. Like, I'm excited about that. That. That gets me fired up. So I wanted to share that with you. That's coming. And the lesson, because the R check is about things that I want to get out, right? The R check is about required maintenance. It's about me getting this maintenance, about fleshing these things out and talking about them. The lesson there is, what is something that you want to do that doesn't necessarily seem impossible, but seems really fucking hard? What is something that you want to do that seems real hard And that you really got to take a leap of faith to do it. It's going to require some execution. But before that, it's going to require planning. It's going to require getting your materials together. It's going to require some funding. Think about something that you want to do in your life. It doesn't have to be starting a business that's going to make a million dollars. Maybe it's going on a camping trip with your family. And that's not something you've ever done. Maybe it's going for a hike in the Ozarks. Maybe it's going to a beach on the Gulf Coast. I don't know. 
But think of something. Think of something that you want to do that's out of the ordinary, that's exciting to you, that you want to do. And don't make it something easy. Make it something hard, okay? I'm excited to do this. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to show it to all of you. Oh, by the way, let me wrap it up with this. 75 hard. I am about, I don't know, who knows, 20 days from being done. I'm not ever going to be done. And I think that therein lies the lesson. So 75 hard will be done March 16th, I believe it is, something to that effect. April 1st, I'm going to do phase one. May 1st, I'm going to start 75 hard again. That's going to go through the middle of July. August 1st, I'm going to do phase two. September 1st, I'm going to do 75 hard again. And then I'll finish with phase three, rolling into December and into December 31st. And I'll finish up phase three. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Andy Frisella's Instagram. It's got all the templates there and it'll explain the whole breakdown of the program. It's a yearly program, 75 hard, followed by phase one, two, and three. And I'm going to get it done. And I'm excited about it. The progress that I've made mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually in these last 56 days is really life-changing and it's available. You just got to make up your mind to do it. So highly recommend it to everybody. Last thing, and then we'll let you go. I'm writing a book. I mentioned it on my Instagram story. I'm writing one hour per night at this rate, somewhere around June, I'll be done with the rough draft. For me, I have to have it reviewed by Navy Legal. There's a process for all that. I'll have it reviewed. Before 2023 is done, I'll be publishing my first book. And notice I said my first book. I've already got ideas for books two and three and four, but four is a big one. So that one's going to take some years to do because there's a lot of things I want to put in there. But book one, hold fast, lessons in leadership from a life at sea that will be hitting the shelves, Amazon audible sometime in 2023. Let's just put it that way. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, that's it. I just want to jump on here, give you a quick R check, do something hard. Things are coming. I hope that you're looking forward to it. I appreciate all the viewers, all the listeners, big guests still coming with the podcast and I'm taking it one day at a time and I love it. And I'm just having a good time and I'm loving life. And I hope that you're having the opportunity to do the same thing. That's it. Have a great week. Great weekend. Keep rising.